Is it time yet? Well, good evening, Pelican Heads. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of... Uh, episode now it's our friday live chat like every friday 6 p.m eastern at this time of the year it is 2300 utc which means midnight in most of europe and um here we are and uh, thank you for being here all of you pelican heads <laughs> did you check out that pelican that's uh that was a present from from omar up in melbourne florida not melbourne australia but anyways, here we have the chat starting to come through. I don't know why. Let me see. Do I see the chat? Yes, I have the chat here. And we have Eduardo Vega waiting and Marzan Worldwide. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, Marzan. And Big Duke X, it's Friday again. Happy Friday, everyone. And the CLT. CLT is back. Hey, Robert, great videos. And thanks for, for the members. Only ones, too. You're very welcome, man. And... Uh, and sometimes I don't, I don't do enough member-only videos, but uh, at least you get to see them a little bit, most of them a little bit be, be before uh, everybody else. And um, what's the beer? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Today we are drinking Romulan Ale. No, just kidding. Romulan Ale, illegal in the United Federation of Planets as of, as of Star Trek. Now we're drinking Free Drive. Free drive, free dive IPA. It's from Tampa. It is from the Copper Tail Brewing Company. Uh, another another present uh, from Omar up in Melbourne. Uh, which, uh, um, we got to hang out together to watch the the the, the SpaceX Falcon Seven rocket uh, go up, and uh, and it looked really cool as it was coming down. And then I I realized that. Um, that it was actually an emergency kind of crash landing what happened but what do i know about rockets you know and uh, i know a little bit about music and a little bit about videos and and uh, travel and that's about it so lucky dog productions happy ipa friday cheers everybody mm, this is good stuff and uh flat earth, flat earth vegans Oh, what's the beer? Okay, I'm, I'm going back. Okay, never mind. Uh, uh, Carrie Winge, uh, it's my birthday today. So happy birthday, Carrie. Oh, Carrie. Scott Horn, uh, a good evening, Robert from Greenwood, South Carolina. Fly, Pelican Fly. Rick Baker, hello. And uh, CLT. And Linda Motley, hello, Robert. Rain in Texas. Well, it's supposed to rain here tomorrow. And I won't be going to Texas until mid-January, so hopefully by then. Of course, I love the the, the, the Western Texas landscape. Um, greetings from South Carolina. I love South Carolina too. And carry cheers. Jose Sanchez, La Familia from Ackworth, Georgia. Saludos para la familia y a todo el mundo por allá. And of course, uh, Jose Sanchez is my brother-in-law that I've mentioned many times here on the channel. And... Um, he was in very, 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 in a very large uh, part the inspiration for us to to go RVing in the first place. So we kind of owe that to 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 Jose, to Papito, as we call him, uh, um, in a more endearing uh, setting. Um, Margie Savinsky, hello from Plantation, Plantation, Florida, not too far away from here, and from Barcelona, Spain. Team Cosat, hello there, hola Barcelona. And uh, come to visit Minnesota. Uh, you have two of us here that will be your tour guides between May and September, of course. Yeah, Minnesota right now, it might not be such a good idea because I don't, I don't want to have to winterize Minitini. CLT, hey, Robert, you got to tell me. Where you park to see the rocker? Is it accessible for public? I think right in that causeway, you have to either pay or know somebody. Uh, but you can buy tickets, yeah. That, that watching them for from so so such a close uh, place um, is not open to to the public per se. But I, I do believe you can buy tickets and they take you in the bus, and um, and you can see it. I have no idea how much the tickets are. Um, um, Gigi says hi, Robert. Hi, Gigi. How was your trip overall? Trip was great. Uh, for, for the most part, I uh, had a great trip, and I'll tell you all about it, and over the next couple of months, you're going to see that trip. By the way, 
for the foreseeable future, my videos, my regular produced uh, uh, Sunday videos are going to be about a month behind because this Sunday I'm releasing the video that, I've, that I shot about a month ago on the, 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 the trip started on November 11th, so, and it's only going to be a RV chat. Is it live or pre-recorded? What do you mean live or pre-recorded? It's live, of course. Uh, Mr. This Traveler. My birthday is coming Thursday, December 13th. Asim Saeed. Well, happy uh, early birthday. Uh, Paula Malone, uh, TGIF, definitely. Uh, uh, Jonathan Mozingo. Mozing, Mozingo? Enjoy some home-brewed beer with you. Cheers. Uh, yeah, I would love to enjoy some home-brewed beer. Um... Ontario minus 18 Celsius. Oh my gosh. Uh, Robert, big hug, buddy. Love your video. Saludo desde New Mexico, Nuevo Mexico. And we're, I'm going to be going to New Mexico probably late January, February. I don't know exactly what my itinerary is going to be for this trip yet. In fact, today I started, I started planning the upcoming trip uh, kind of to time it with the RTR and the SKPs and, um, and the big tent in Quartzsite and uh, a bunch of different uh, things so um elite thunder greetings from finland hello finland and diego from brazil hello diego uh, congratulations on your big ass chevy nice looking truck thank you so much yeah the, the chevy has been performing really well uh, i'm gonna have to do the i'm gonna have to do the first oil change very soon because i put a bunch of miles on it the, uh, Rob, forget to tell everybody that you did an interview with on driving and vibing. It was a good interview. Thank you so much, Paul. And uh, yes, I did an interview. It came out on the podcast uh, this morning, and it's going to be on the, uh, some somewhere here on the channel within the next uh, week or two. I interviewed driving and vibing and the Mortons on the move uh, when I was up in. Um, I used I stayed at the Rainbow Plantation, the SKP's Rainbow Plantation in Southern. Uh, Alabama finally earned my Alabama sticker by the way you guys and um, what was wondering this this lol traveling robot of course you're live I was being a goof well a lot of people watch the video after the fact that they think I'm live and they start putting on the comments hello and and things like that so by the way yeah we are live you if you're watching this December 7th 2018 and it is around 6 7 p.m. or 6 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern um, we are live. Otherwise, we are not. <laughs> Lucky dog. We can see. We could see the rocket launches from our driveway, but not as good as uh, the view Robert had. But I, I saw the video that you uh, uploaded, uh, Lucky Dog Productions, Bub, and uh, and you got a pretty good view. Man, I, I'm jealous. I wish. Uh, I wish I had actually growing up or, or uh, earlier when uh, that, that 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 I had been able to have a view of the rocket launches like 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 bob silvedo uh, the, the the person who the gentleman who um who let me mooch dog at his home uh, he said that as a kid he saw like oh it was like second nature seeing that the, the apollo missions go up and all that stuff that that would have been so cool oh the space shuttle for that matter the one time i saw the space shuttle and i saw it from much further away but the space shuttle was a big rocket <laughs> These SpaceX are not as large as rockets, but since I was so close, I could. I mean, it was it was very 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 cool. And uh, desde España, saludos. I'm from Saudi Arabia. Cool. This is my first time on your chat. Well, welcome, Dennis Kifed. Uh, I'm joining right away from the Framingham, Massachusetts. From Framingham, Massachusetts. Well, welcome, Dennis. And uh, I hope you make it a habit. We have a very nice group of people here that we, we get together every single Friday. And um, not everybody is here every Friday, but mo most of the time it, it, we do. And, um, and it's really cool. Hi, Robert. Hi, Alma. Well, is my mom what, uh, listen, listen, watching? I didn't see her comment. Did she, did she comment? Did she comment? I don't know. You know, I'm a, I'm a little... You know, I can go back on the... But my eyesight is my eyesight is not what it used to be. Okay, we'll continue. Be zinger, zigner. Uh, great to see you back home, Robert. Yeah, it was a long trip, and I got homesick at some point. 
Uh, but um, I saw a lot. Saludos de Hialeah. Well, greetings, Hialeah, la ciudad que progresa just northwest of Miami here. Uh, greetings from the Pacific Northwest, Salem, Oregon. Very entertaining views. Thank you so much, Robert Moe. And I, and, I, and I can't wait to visit the Pacific Northwest. Uh, Scott Horn, enjoy your video showing all your goodies on the Colorado. It's amazing how much technology comes in cars and trucks nowadays. Every Colorado I see on the road now reminds me of you, sir. Oh, thank you. In a sense, it's too much technology. You know, when I was in Atlanta, or in the, yeah, in the Atlanta, where I stayed at this uh, RE Park, and at, at some point, the, the truck wanted to do an update to the software. And it said that I could not drive the truck for the 10 minutes uh, that that software update uh, was going to take place, which is kind of scary that you are so dependent on, I, I, I just hope they're not running Windows. Uh, to be honest, um, you know it's it's a little too much. Uh, I'm I'm not gonna be that that old curmudgeon that says we have to go back to carburetors, but m maybe the the basic operation of the vehicle shouldn't be dependent on the on the radio. I'm just saying. But yeah, the the truck. Uh, other than that, the truck runs great and it tows great. Um, okay, I have a little bit of mail today. If you if you will indulge me, because. Uh, you know, while I was away, away I received a, a bunch of letters from you guys and postcards. And this one comes from Greg Walden. Thank you for the awesome videos. I'm actually planning a project and maybe something you might want to explore um, uh, about utility trailers. Anyways, I'm finding clothes, a couple of stickers and magnets I have for my mountain biking YouTube channel. And uh, here you go, he sent me this magnet and one of these stickers is going to go in the back of Minitini at some point and it's called the Trail Ninja Enjoying the Experience. So the Trail Ninja. Pretty cool. I have other stuff and I have, um, let me show you, besides my new glass pelican here. I have a postcard, Route 66 postcard from uh, Max McLear. I don't know if Max is here today, but he usually is. And I uh, hope your truck is uh, doing you well. Look forward to meeting you in January. And that will be most likely at the, at the RTR. And he also sent me this very cool Christmas card here. And I'm trying to not to show any addresses or anything like that, because, you know, so... Everybody, merry, merry early Christmas or whatever you celebrate during these holidays. And, um, you know, I can't believe this. Uh, the way this is the plaque, I got it as a souvenir. That's what went on the car so we could. Uh, it turns out that uh, Bob's daughter, is, uh, she works for NASA, so that's how we could get in there. And she gave me this nice care package of all things at NASA. But I wanted to show you what is going in the back of Mini Genie here very, very soon. And this is going to go way, way at the top, uh, right on the top up above uh, North Cap, but because that was the, the, the furthest north place I had gone in the world. But now, you know, the sky is the limit, right? Nothing higher than that. What do I have here? You know, I have a pen and a bunch of little samples. Really cool. We got a, a munch pack. I don't know if I should. I don't. I, I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing the munch pack videos, but I do. I, I wanna do at least one more. And then, last but not least, this is coming all the way from Finland. If if you are from Finland here, you can recognize the box from the the Posti uh, service. And this is a box of uh, Finnish snacks that I'm going to be doing a video probably tomorrow. I wish I, I was hungry right now because. I will do it live on the air here, but um, got a bunch of like this stuff is supposed to be a, an acquired taste. This salmiaki stuff, and they have a, okay, I mean this is old chips and uh, and more salmiaki. So I'm I'm going to be tasting all this tomorrow, and not live, but I'm gonna make a video. Because since I was in Finland and I didn't get to taste any of this stuff. So I'm going to make it one of those odd uh, Wednesday videos. Very much looking forward to, to doing that. And uh, I don't think I have anything else um, to show you guys. But 
Let me read more messages here. Hello from Sweden, from Christopher Olson. And uh, so are the new CDs arriving tomorrow? Oh my, good, good that you know. I um, I was looking at the at the estimated uh, arrival and they're they're a little behind. I'm I'm still confident that I'm gonna be able to ship them, uh, so you get them before Christmas. But it's going to be sometime next week. Um, the latest uh, from them, and I have the I have my calendar here. I think they're gonna arrive actually next Friday, the fourteenth. But as soon as they arrive, if, as the minute they arrive, I'm gonna ship everything and run to the post office, so you should get it the following week, early in the week, unless it is international, international, I'm not sure. But that's the latest on the CDs, I apologize, I uh, I guess, uh, you know, Disc Makers is also uh, having, uh, you know, it, it, the, the trouble with the, with the holidays rush, I don't know. You need a glass pink flamingo, maybe I'll get a glass pink flamingo. <laughs> Good evening, uh, saludos Orlando, Florida, hello, okay, Nericea, Nericea, in your opinion, are the keys back to normal after Irma? Um, I'd say they're back 80%, 90%, it depends which keys, if you go to Key Largo or probably Northern Alamorada, you wouldn't know anything happened there, and Key West is 99.9 .9 back to normal. Now, everything in the middle, like lower Isla Morada, I mean, the Tiki Bar is, I don't think it's up yet. I, di I didn't see it when I when I drove through. Um, and in Marathon, you still see signs here and there of damage. Ions Beach is still uh, closed. Um, Veterans Park, the one that is just at the end of the, at the beginning or at the end, at the end of the Seven Mile Bridge, that is still closed. A lot of things are still not fully open. Um, and the park, the RV park where I stayed, they still were partially open. So, um, but everything else for the most part is back. Uh, Jim and Michelle here, we met at the Hershey RV show as you were leaving, love watching you. Thank you so much, Jim and Michelle. I do remember you guys. And um, and hope to see you on the road sometime uh, soon. Or I don't know if you guys are going to... Uh, is anybody going to Quartzsite? And Sue Sprang... Okay, hold on. Let me see. Mani Kash, Kashmi, Kash, Kashmihong. Uh, I finally got got you online. How are you? LOL. Good to see you. Good to see you, Manny. And Susprang, Lucky Dog, and I really enjoy hanging out with you at the Pelican Heads on the on Friday nights. Uh, and I, I I do enjoy hanging I, I, hanging out with you guys here. And I, and I do miss it whenever whenever it, it happens that I cannot do a live video, which lately hasn't happened so much. But yeah, um, Kevin Bentley. Hello, Robert. Love your channel. Your videos are really unique compared to other RV travel channels. I'm curious which other RV or RV channels you enjoy watching. Keep up the great work. I do enjoy. I do watch Eric, of course. Uh, Nomadic Fanatic. I watch. Uh, although I haven't had time to watch uh, too many lately. But of course, the Motorhome Experiment. Less Junk, More Journey. Um, I don't. I haven't watched KYD for a while now because I, I like it when they're traveling. You know, when it is like. Uh, top 10 things uh, to buy for your RV. I'm like, okay, fine. Um, of course, driving and vibing, I just uh, I just was able to hang out with her, with, with them uh, in, in Alabama, the Mortons. I, um, I, I watch the Wings, even though they are not, not RVers anymore, but Gone with the Winds. It's always um, a, a cool one to watch. And sporadically, not every day, but I watch, you know, Caravan, RV Life, uh, you know, Caroline's RV Life and Caravan Caroline, I get them confused. And uh, and of course, Louis Rolling Earth Trip and Lydia Simply RVing. And uh, who else do I watch? Oh, Pee Pee, Pee Peterson, of course. And um, yeah. Anyways, oh, Gator Dwight, thank you so much from Fort Myers Beach. Hope all is well. Yeah, all is well. Here back in the in the headquarters in the home studio and uh, I'm, I'm planning the next trip and editing all these hours and hours and open hours of videos that I have uh, from from this most recent trip uh, many uh, next time I'm in Florida can we can we meet with you 
we just got back from the keys. We loved it. Yeah, definitely. You know, get in touch with me beforehand. So, so I'm sure. You know, I can make sure I, I can meet up. But yeah, the the, the keys are great. Um, Pranil Bang Banguan car, and I hope I didn't butcher that. Hi from Chicago. Love your videos. Which place you suggest for last week of December? Corpus Christi or Galveston, Texas? Amazingly enough, I have not been to any of those places yet, so. Jackie Trujillo, are you even going to do a cooking video? I miss your cooking. Yes, as part of this trip, I did quite a few cooking videos, so I'm going to incorporate those into the travel videos. I'm not going to, I'm probably not going to do any standalone cooking videos because, um, even though a lot of you seem to, to want to watch them, I think the great majority doesn't because they don't get as many views. I mean, they, they don't, they, they not even close. So, but I'm going to incorporate some cooking into a regular RV lifestyle video that I make. Uh, Danny GTI, uh, hi Rob, we're going to Florida in February 19th. Best regards from Spain. Nos encantan tus videos. Y gracias, España. Uh, you know, I lived in Spain actually for 13, no, 15 months in between Cuba and the United States. Uh, I did live in Spain um, in 1988, though it's been a while. But it was really cool. Uh, hi, Robert, enjoy your videos. You inspired me so much. I went and bought a Micro Mini 1808 and a Chevy Colorado. See you on the road. Well, the 1808 is very similar to mine. I think that one may, might be a little wider. Not entirely sure. Hola, Robert. How are you? Your trooper friend here. Hey, Amaranto Cabrera. Hey. Nice to see you here, man. Thank, thank you so much. And thank you for so much for stopping me on the keys. And, and so we were able to meet. Uh, definitely. And, um, uh, Manny, there were some remnants, but not too much. Uh, all look well in Marathon, Quilargo, and Isla Morada. Okay, you're talking about the, the Florida Keys. And of course, uh, Officer Amaranto Cabrera, it's, uh, he patrols the, the Florida Keys, so he would know that uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, getting, it's gotten a lot, a lot better than the first time I was there right after the hurricane, for sure. Uh, Peter Brill, I saw the video of Mexico City. I always call it Mexico City, you know, it's actually called Mexico Beach, but I always make the same mistake too. Very depressing of the devastation, definitely Mexico Beach is... Uh, it's it's it's, uh, it's I was I was impressed and I don't get impressed easily by things like that but I was like this is bad. Um, hi Robert, what are you drinking? We're drinking a free dive IPA from Tampa, Florida. Ah. RV ashes in April. By the way, the, the studio is a bit of a mess. That's why I, I always have this with me. And it says, a cluttered desk is the mark of a genius. Um, uh, big truck, big RV, great channel. Keep it up. Thank you so much, big truck, big RV. And I have to figure out a way to put this somewhere like where you can see it. If I if I remove the chat, you can see it. But if I don't know, I'll keep the chat. <laughs> you know, I like to see the chat afterwards, and I think helps uh, folks who are watching on on the TV. Paul Fall say, "Hey Robert, I heard there's a 48 hours and every a day now, so you can do the cooking shows after all." Forty eight hours and every day now. Oh, I see what you mean. Like, more time. Uh, we just bought a new cafetera to make Cuban coffee, too. Oh, that's cool. Uh, hello from Arkansas, Michael Worley, and uh, hell of a life. Uh, if you could do it all again, would you still get a Micro Mini, or would you recommend a different make or trailer? Well, the Micro Mini, the only problem with the Micro Mini, uh, to make it boondockable, if that's even a, a word, or, you know, to make it to our leg, and we had to do, in the end, a lot of modifications. But I, I think the, 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 the base structure is fairly solid. I mean, for, for, what, it, for the, what it cost, you know. We paid, what, 16000 and change. I mean, it turned out to be twenty after everything. 
but that was about it, brand new. So, and that's fairly inexpensive, if you think about it. You know, the, the ones that, if you buy the, the one that cost uh, 12000 or 10000 you know, it's all made out of cardboard. Of course, if you want the same thing, but really well made uh, and uh, slightly overpriced, you'll pay 60000 for an Airstream of that same size. So uh, I think for the price, you know, it's it's a fairly good unit. And uh, in the end, you get what you pay for. I, I think the Lance, uh, the Lance, uh, tra uh, they, they usually make truck campers, but they also have trailers, and they, they're making a very good trailer right now. The only thing, I didn't want slides, so that's why I, I, I stuck with the, mini, with the Micro Mini. And, um, of course, there are so many considerations that... The, the um, the holding tanks for example i was just watching a video yesterday of uh, of the um, mike and jennifer you know the, the the new their new road trick and the black water tank is 10 gallons that's just a tiny step up from a cassette toilet you, you're gonna have to empty that thing every other day so um i got the, the, the your holding tanks are also very very important especially if you want to boondock and this rig that we have it has a 25 gallon uh, black water tank so we, we can go a couple of days without having to dump the, the only the, the only weak link there is the gray water tank so if you start washing the dishes a lot or showering a lot it's gonna fill up pretty quickly but anyways uh, that's um road trip buddy i want to buy your dinner sure when where are we gonna be uh, are you gonna be in in the quartzite area mm, sorry Ooh, that beer and I, 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 I had a big lunch, otherwise I would have had some of those uh, finished snacks. Uh, but late lunch, early dinner, you know, I'm, I'm kind of uh, not very well scheduled when it comes to eating. Um, Manny, uh, you are an inspiration and we want to definitely travel more, more and more. Do you generally enjoy all your travels? And thank you so much for sharing all your adventures. Look forward to more. That's, I, for the most part, I do. And when I don't, uh, generally, I... Uh, I share it, although some people don't like it when I sh say something negative about a place, uh, but it happens, and uh, and sometimes I um, some stuff happens like flat tires. I, this last trip, I just had a flat tire in the middle of downtown Selma, Alabama, and um, and. Uh, yeah, but, but you know, I you know, I, I, you you would think after so many years I would know how to tr drive towing a trailer, but I made a sharp right turn and uh, and one of the the, tra the the front right trailer tire went over the curb and psh, exploded like a siki trake. Um, I have to ask Camp Dave why I never hear your name on his channel. Oh, you mean Camo Dave? I would love for him to, to, to talk about my channel, right? Oh, man. Uh, do you get, can you get Cuban coffee in the U.S.? Yes, we, we get uh, the Bustelo and the Pilon at Publix. Hello, great song on your videos from Los Angeles. Thank you so much, uh, Kurt Truth Finder Flow. Yeah, come on, Dave, okay. I'm, I'm a little behind on the chat, guys. I hope you understand. Uh, Gary Sorensen, hello from Minnesota. Hello there. Uh, visit Hamfest in Quartzsite. Hamfest? Is that even a thing? I have to I have to write that down. Hamfest, right? Hmm. Interesting. There's so much stuff going on in Quartzsite. I have to write that down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start writing notes on my phone here. Hamfest. I'm gonna look that up. Uh, Rocío Peña, saludos desde México. Saludos, Rocío. And, uh... I love your RV from V. Gonzalez, Saeed Ibrahim. Uh, God bless you, Robert. Uh, traveling, thanks for the ride. You're very welcome, Saeed. Uh, and Michael J. Farrell, is Bahia Honda Beach up, opened? Well, the, when I was there, only the, the, the Gulf side was open. I don't know if the, if the Atlantic side is open yet, but I'm assuming it is by now. Uh, Peter Mabus, Robert, watch old video of you at the Munchies singing easy like Sunday morning. Enjoyed your... your thank you so much, uh, Peter. And yeah, that's my other channel, by the way. If you if you search for my RV, my other channel, Robert Morales, there's a bunch of like old stuff of me um, singing at different places. Uh, Juan Catalina, hi Robert, how are you doing? Hope you're doing good. Love you. Thank you so much, Juan. 
And uh, Carrie Wange, I love your honesty. Thank you so much. And I try to be as, as honest as, as, as possible, especially when it comes to, to reviewing different places, you know, because if I say something is great and then it is not, uh, I, I look like the liar. Like, for example, on my first uh, uh, lobster fest in Key West, it was great. I mean, I really, truly enjoyed that, that uh, trip. The second time I went, I went like uh, this year, it wasn't so great, and I did say it on the video. So, um, uh, Enrique Sanchez, hello from Homestead. Congratulations on your new truck. Are you planning a meetup close to Miami anytime soon? Uh, maybe we can do something before January, but that would be kind of rushed. Really, I'm 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 gonna be really busy for the next uh, three weeks, but. Uh, if you can think of a place or, or something, let me know. Send me, an, send me a message and, and maybe we can plan something. Um, trailer Truck Vacation. Thank you so much. Hello, 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 um, The part of traveling because things happen and nothing is perfect. That's that's true. Nothing is, is, is perfect. And on this past trip, I had a couple of mishaps that you, you'll soon find out by watching my videos. Where is the best place for Cuban food in Little Havana nowadays? I really have no updates. I mean, no, no idea. I'm, I'm, I'm reading Paul Foss's <laughs> message after this one. The, I mean, there's a bunch of them. I don't, I don't really go out as much anymore. And uh, when we do, we go to Casa Juancho, which is not really Cuban. It's more like Spanish, Asturian cuisine. Uh, Come on, Dave updates all of the nomads that Robert mentioned. Yeah, the, Paul. Well, you know what I do when I don't have time to to watch like like Eric and uh, and uh, all the other people. I just I just go to Come and uh, he he says like uh, uh, you know it's like the gossip channel. Um, you know, very 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 low production value. It's just him with the camera. He points the camera at the computer. He points at, his, at himself. But the content is funny. So, yeah. Uh, CLT LOL please explain Sikitrake. Oh no, that's 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 no translation for Sikitrake. <laughs> Have you ever thought of doing radio? Well, I do a podcast, so um yeah. Uh, that's the new radio, right? And eventually I might, uh, but, but but that will be like ham radio uh, whenever I have time. Someday I'm going to have time to to read me the book that that they sent me and uh and get my ham radio license, but right now, oh man, it's it's busy times. Hi, Robert, where are you headed on the next trip? Uh, bikes, boats, and bivouacs. Hello there. And on the next trip, well, the, the plan is to to go out west, RTR, although the RTR is like 10 days. I don't think I'm going to be at the RTR for the whole 10 days. I'm going to be there more for like Maybe a little bit at the beginning and a little bit at the end. I was I was starting to write stuff down here on my on my calendar, on my Google calendar. And uh, for example, there is a. I might be there from. It it starts on on, on January 9th, but I think I'm gonna arrive on, around the 12th. There's a solar seminar on the 12th that I might wanna attend. There's a boondocking seminar on the 13th with Caroline that I might want to attend. And then on the 14th, there's a, there's a gadget show and tell that might be interesting. And uh, the meet and greet with Bob, because of my last name, that's the day that... that uh, so I would love to meet Bob. Those are the main days that I'm going to be at the, at the RTR. I might stay longer, I might arrive earlier, but uh, I think three or four days is probably plenty. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see, as I, as I always say. I'm not making any reservations yet, anywhere, just in case, because plans are meant to be changed. Bikes, boats, and bivouacs, thank you so much for that super chat. Really appreciate it. Buy Eliana a drink and say hello to mom. I sure will, and, uh, and Ili is getting a drink as soon as uh, we finish this, this uh, RV chat here. My Petaway Life. Uh, oh, Nelson Navarro, love your videos. Thank you so much. Um, my Petaway Life, by the way, you, ha you haven't did a cooking video lately. And what's that beer for tonight? Oh, we got a great IPA from Tampa. Free dive. 
I can see you doing like a quiet storm thing. I don't understand. Uh, Anna Abney, the south, southern U.S. and the Panhandle of Florida are supposed to get snow and ice Sunday and Monday all across the bottom of the U.S. Really? Must be a climate change because I haven't seen that happen this early in the year in a long time or ever. I was wondering if you dress up Minitini for the holiday slides. Worth it. I have not done that. And since I'm probably not going to camp uh, this holidays, I probably won't be doing that. Um, unless we decide to go out to next weekend, which we might. V. Gonzalez live in Florida. Cheers from Florida to you. Best place for Cuban food? Minitini, probably. Uh, what is the coldest you have camped with Minitini? We're heading North Georgia tomorrow. going to be icy. Uh, well, the other day in Northern Alabama, it got down to the low 20s. I had full hookups, thankfully, so I cranked that that uh, uh, furnace all the way up, uh, and uh, and it was fine. That's probably the the lowest, and the lowest I've boom docked was the Marfa Lights viewing area in Texas last year, and it was also in the mid twenties, but it was fine. Hey Robert, watching your my sixty inch large smart TV web enabled, how does it look, Mark Ditch? And B. Zinger, Little Havana is not what it used to be. <coughs> Nothing ever is, I guess. You know? Little Havana right now, I suppose it's not as authentic as it was 20 years ago. I mean, they have that area now, that those three blocks or five blocks between 15th, uh, between 13th and 17th Avenue, which is like the touristy area where they take the tour buses and all that. But the good thing about Miami is like pretty much the whole southwest area of Miami has become a little Havana or a little Latin America at this point. And there's certain neighborhoods where you can get like the best Colombian food or the best Venezuelan food or the best Nicaraguan food. So it really depends. Um, um, uh, Bruce Matthews, an avid follower of your journeys. Thank you so much for taking us along. You're very welcome. And thank you. Thank you for being here and watching and being part of the community. Uh, do a beer video. Best beer in the States. I, I might get drunk for that one. <laughs> and uh, I just enjoy a good IPA. Some of them are great. Some of them are not so good. But um, it has become like my favorite beer. And Wayne Groen. Hello, Robert from Groen Wayne and Liz in Palm Bay. We're late tonight. Love your rocket launch video. Yes, I loved being there, and and the, the, that that's a rare occasion in which I'm I, I'm I'm breaking the the timeline and make something almost live available, because for for the next one or two months, all my videos are gonna be at least a month behind. That's just the way it is. In Calgary, minus two Celsius. That's not so cold. Is it? That's like, what, 20, 29? Um, okay, here we go. I keep reading. Very good. Like you in my living room. Oh, cool. Yeah, these are supposed to be 720p, which is not bad for a live video nowadays. Armando Correa. Hello from upstate New York. Hello there, Armando. And, and uh, I hope we can meet up again the next time I'm in your area, uh, for sure. And, uh, ooh, okay, I missed, I missed those. Um, I get those calls to uh, this traveler, and sometimes I get them from the first three digits of my phone, so it sounds to it looks like a... Uh, hi, Robert, I know you always integrate drone videos. What drone do you use? I have the DJI Mavic Pro, which is starting to age. Lately, it's given me a couple of times that compass error so I'm, I'm assuming there's maybe starting to to wear out something maybe wrong with the compass but it still flies great for the most part so once it locks to that uh, GPS signal I, I know it's not gonna last forever and one day it's not a matter of uh, of if but when I might crash it but uh, knock on wood I haven't crashed it yet 
Local DJ had a program called The Quiet Storm, Nice Low Soft Sexy Voice. He might still have it. But that's uh, the voice when I am doing my voiceover. Actually, this is the microphone I use for the voiceover. It's, a, it's actually a 20 year old Audio Technica that they don't make anymore. But I bought it for my recording studio in 2000. It's not 20 years old, but almost. I bought it in 2001, I think, or 2000. For my for my old uh, recording studio, the first one, the one that I had at my, my mom's house, actually. Uh, where's the best place to stay when in Miami? Some people said South Beach. Well, it depends what you want. South Beach is uh, the party scene, of course, and it's gonna be terribly expensive. You can stay in the Brickle area, which is more of a downtown experience. Uh, but um, I don't know if uh, other areas where you can stay. Probably Midtown is is a is a good area, area to stay at, but. But yeah, South Beach is what most people think of as Miami. When when they think of Miami, you know, the Art Deco buildings and all that. Uh, Joe Croto, 200 watching. You know, I haven't even counted how many people watch. watch. And uh, yeah, sure, 194 right now. It's, it's, it's not a record, but it's up there for sure. Uh, okay, um, boom, boom, boom. BBB, you're going to have to meet up. All right, uh, hit the like button. Yes, hit the like button. Susprang. Popular? Well, that is called authentic. That's the world. El Pub. Yeah, El Pub, I guess, is pretty authentic. I mean, I probably missed half of the, the conversation behind... Yeah, but th th that's still in that new touristy, kind of touristy area. But El Pub hasn't been there forever. I haven't eaten at El Pub in a long time. Actually, I lie. I went there probably five or six years ago. It was good, but it was... Oh, was it El Pub or was it El Esquisito where I went? Might have been El Esquisito. I mean, it was good, but it wasn't like mind-blowing great Cuban food. I still like Versailles, actually. If if you if you want like authentic Cuban food, you cannot go wrong with Versailles, or you know where, El Palacio de los Jugos, which it would tra translate as the pa Palace of Juice of the Juice, and um, they have really good food and really cheap. Uh, El Pub is my favorite place in Cayoche. Well, if CLT likes it, it's probably good because he gets he he goes out a lot more than I do, to be honest. At, at least here in Miami. Eh, Roberto Betancur, hola Roberto, te quería preguntar por Aspen, Colorado, si lo recomiendas para ir en invierno. Nunca he estado en Aspen, I've never been to Aspen, so I wouldn't know, but in, in invierno es, eh, hay mucha nieve, mucho frío, it's going to be snowy and cold, uh, and I might pass by Aspen now on my way back, if, y, y, uh, probably not, it's, gonna, it's still going to be winter, but... At some point, I want to test uh, the Colorado Toy Minitini crossing the Rockies, and there's no better place than I-70. So, yeah. Who's Amanda? <laughs> hey, Robert, my drone will give a, a Lucky Dog Productions my, a compass error if it's set up close to something metal. Yes, mine used to do that too, but then if I moved it, but now it gives me errors when I put it on the ground sometimes. So, so I'm thinking maybe, or maybe something got magnetized inside. Maybe there's some kind of something I can do about it. But yeah, Luis Cantero, hello from Argentina. Hola Argentina. I think someone is talking nonsense here on the on the on the chat. Should I should I ban her or ban him or not? Or you guys do that. You can, you guys can do that. Uh, Dave Millard, hola, Mr. Roy from Tucson, Arizona, and Tucson, Arizona is part of this trip that I'm going to to make uh, right now in the in January, February. So I might I might be in the area. Okay, then I guess the the comments are becoming slow. Maybe it is time to to call it a night. 
Mm. By the way, pretty good beer. So if you're watching, thank you, Omar. I know Omar sometimes doesn't comment because he watches on his smart TV. So all he can do is like and share. But, um, yeah. Block them. Okay, you heard him. Ciao. Uh, Paul Falls, do the Tiki Boat rubber showing his lobster festival in the Keys. Yeah, I want to do that Tiki Boat. Maybe, I don't think I'm going to the Keys until next year. But the next time I, I go to Key West, not the Keys, but Key West, which I will at some point. I mean, you can never get tired of Key West, but uh, for this year I'm Key Wested out. I'm going to wait until next year, but I want, I'm going to do that, that Tiki Boat for sure. Paul Drews, hello from Wisconsin. Hey, Robert, love your audio setup. Thank you so much. And um, Sonia Fuentes, hola, Robert de Homestead. Te saludan, Jose y Sonia. Well, saludos, Homestead. And Road Trip Buddy, do you plan on getting Osmo Pocket? Probably not. Um, I'm pretty happy with them with my camera setup right now. I don't think I'm... The only thing, and if you guys... And uh, let's let, see, how many people we are watching right now? Let's let's use the power of the internet here. 183. It's gone down a little bit, but we still have plenty of people here. I want to get me a 360 camera, but not to do 360 video. I want to put that thing on top of Minitini, on top of like the air conditioner unit, the, the, like the tallest point and then have a 360 view not to make a 360 video because i i i i, I rather choose what what part of the of the uh, of the landscape to show but that way i have a camera looking in every direction all the time so if i see something on the road i could see it and pan and and and, and, and you know track it wherever wherever it is in my field of view and uh and if anybody knows about a good, not too expensive, a 360 camera with a, with that that can run for a long time, um, unattended, let me know because I mean that that that's gonna be the next uh, camera upgrade that I'm going to do because that GoPro go, looking forward is starting to get all long in the tooth. It doesn't look so great now next to the the the, the other 4K video. Oh, and and then the 360 camera of course would have to be 4K. Okay, uh, have you come to KC yet? Let me know. If you do, we we'll treat you to some good barbecue. Definitely, Manny. And uh, it's, it's on the list for next year, for sure. Uh, Gloria Alejandra Postmayer, vemos tus videos en inglés. Esperamos que hagas algunos en, espa uh, unos en español. And um, uh, at some point, I will, uh, at some point, lo que voy a hacer es subtitular los videos que tengo, algunos de ellos en español. And what I'm saying, she's asking if, if I can make some videos in Spanish. And at this point, I'm, I, it's impossible. I don't have time to like do both. But um, eventually, I'm gonna I'm gonna subtitle. You know, pay. You know, I have to pay for it, of course. But I'm gonna subtitle some of like, my videos into Spanish. Uh, so so you know, so we can reach a, a bigger audience internationally, uh, for sure. The Osmo Pocket, very worth the money. Loved it. The Osmo Pocket. Uh, Robert, contact Maverick Drones. I see if there is a firmware update uh, you can do through download to fix your drone. I'm gonna check it out. Uh, may, 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 maybe a, maybe a glitch. Maybe maybe uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll see. I mean, it's working great. It's just once in a while it gives me that annoying error. But once it takes off, the error goes away. So. How is the power of firmware? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't understand the question. Uh, you should have a meet and greet in Key West and we can do an adventure together. That sounds like fun. Okay. Google Google Robert360. I think the GoPro Fusion is the best so far. What do you think? GoPro Fusion? I'm going to look into that one. 
360 cameras are great. Let me go Pro Fusion. The most versatile 360 camera ever. You know, I haven't done much uh, research on this, obviously. But, um, oh, that looks nice. The GoPro Fusion, $599. Two free SD cards. Ah, I hate when they do these pop-ups. Okay, I'm going to look into that one. And this is the thing. This is one of the premises. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, figure out a way to... To, to put a, a USB cable going all the way into the roof so I can power that camera while it, is, while it is recording so I can record indefinitely for let's say four hours at a time or at least two I'll be happy with two or three hours at a time and then I have the whole trip in 360 if, if, if something happens around me that, that the forward view uh, camera doesn't capture the, the, I'll capture the, the side view of course Gear 360 for $99. Okay, I might look into that one too. I mean, the the, the GoPro at, at 600 bucks looks legit. Uh, and usually you get what, what you pay for, but a... Um, which cameras do you have, Matthew Wiles? Uh, watch for low bridges if you put an expensive camera on top. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I mean, it is about 10, so I figured uh, that, would, that would add maybe a couple of inches more, so 10 and a half, I won't go over any 10 and a, anything over 10 and a half feet. Well, the moment I stepped away, someone decided to be a pill. Well, you know how it is. Gloria Alejandra Posmayer, muchas gracias por nada. Joe Croto, did you hear that Motorhome Experiment sold their Vegas business and a full thing on the road? Now, I haven't. I haven't. I actually haven't talked to, to Paul and Lorena in a while. But really, that's great because it, 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 I think it was turning out to be a, a, like a, a pain in the butt for them. Paul had to like fly back once in a while. So if they sold it for a good amount of money and they, they can afford to be on the road full time... Uh, that's great. B. Zingner, remember, remember, Robert, it's not the quantity of the people in the chat, but the quality. Of course, <laughs> it is the quality. Um, uh, Dave Miller, hay gringos como yo que hablan español. Well, that's great, uh, Dave. And um, I don't like 360 degree camera because it ruins the video. I mean, it depends. I'm not gonna use it as a 360 camera. I don't believe in. A, I want. I want to keep the control. The control of what you guys see. You know. I want. I want to curate uh, that part. And uh, I, I personally, I don't like those 360 videos where you can like scroll, crawl around. And uh, it, to me, it's confusing. But uh, that's why I'm thinking uh, get the, the best quality camera that I can afford. That you cannot barely see the 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 seam between the, the two cameras uh, and um, I mean as long as it looks better than the old GoPro that I have on the roof if it looks worse than the old GoPro I'll keep the old GoPro uh, which is an aging Hero 3 from back to back in 2013 so it's it's getting old and long in the tooth there uh, BBB hi Paul I'm going to do the Tiki Bar Cruise I saw in Robert's video well let me know how it goes the only thing that I don't like about that Tiki boat is that, don't, that it doesn't have a bathroom, but I guess it's, it's not that long, the, the trip, right? It's just for the sunsets. Um, Jeremy three, 3D, if you were going to update your RV to another travel trailer because you just bought the truck, what trailer would you, would you get? Well, right now, I really like the, the 70, I think it's a 19-foot uh, Bambi by Airstream, of course, it is 65 or $70,000, so, but other than that, I mean, a, a lot of trailers in that, in, in that size are very comparable, I don't think I would get something much bigger than 19 feet, than 19 feet, 
maybe a 21, but still, you know, then, then it's, 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 the longer you get, the less maneuverability you have. So what I want, uh, you like the Fusion better. The Fusion is, of course, yeah, the, the, the GoPro. I'm going to, I'm going to check out the GoPro Fusion. It is an investment at 600 bucks, but, um, but hey, it could be my, 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 my Christmas present to myself, right? And it's a tool it's for the channel, tax deductible. I'm trying to justify myself here, okay? Samsung 360. I'm going to look into that one too. Um, hi, Robert. Where to next? Well, on January, we're going back, uh, uh, back west. And Paul Jones. Hi, Traveling Robert. Thanks for the last videos. Have friends in Dothan, Alabama. Alabama. I really liked Alabama. Everybody's so nice. So that, that southern hospitality is, 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 is quite true when it comes to, to the people. And um, uh, Armando Cabrera, Robert, I recommend you the Rilo 360. It is very good. I've heard of the Rilo, by the way. And uh, isn't that the one that some months ago um, Casey Neistat showed on his uh, channel? You know, I do believe I, I contacted them. See if they wanted to sponsor. Uh, this, uh, they, they, they didn't go for it. I've heard of the Rilo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a comparison. The Rilo, the GoPro. I mean, GoPro is just an established brand too. So that's uh, Paul John. Keep warm. It's minus twenty in Ottawa, uh, Ontario. Oh man. That's cold. Uh, if you make it to New England again, watch out for the very low bridges. Yes, I did. And um, But now I don't have it here with me, actually. But I'm going to review an RV GPS system as soon as I can. Probably, um, I'll probably do it. What's, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow is a Saturday. Maybe tomorrow I'll, I'll shoot that video for release uh, this Wednesday or the next Wednesday. By the way, it's courtesy of Techno RV, and as you know, Techno RV, they're they're uh, they're an I'm an affiliate with them, and if you buy anything from them, just go through my link, travelingrobert.com/techno-rv, and I get a little bit of a commission, which is always um, a good way to to support. Samsung 360 camera gives you the option of 360 or 180 from front or back. I'm gonna I'm gonna open another tab and check out the Samsung 360 because. I might not do it on this uh, for this coming up particular trip, but I am definitely in the mark that that's going to be the next upgrade because everything else in my gear is holding up really well. And I, li I really like my setup. This traveler BRB now nah, you're going to see all the trolls come to the room. No, just kidding. Hello, Robert from Muncie, Indiana. Maybe you will get through here someday. Love the show. I probably will next uh, spring, summer. Uh, we'll see. Tampa John, over Oliver RG, RV, great. Google it. I'm going to check it out. Oliver RV rings a bell. I think I've, I've seen those. Yes, I agree, Mark Ditch. Christmas gift to yourself, but shh, don't tell anyone. Okay, I won't. Hi from Berlin, Germany. Hello, Mar Marcel Schristel, Berlin, Germany, where it is almost 1 a.m. And uh, Gary Sorensen, hello, Gary. And uh, Jeremy 380, you should check out the Rockwood GoPro 19FD or 19 Geo Pro, okay. 20 feet and the perfect boom docking traders. Yeah, definitely. But after I've spent so much money on Minitini, I think I'm going to keep it for a while. You deserve it, Robert. Get the fusion. What do you think of the Coleman trailers? Coleman trailers are cool. The, the, they seem to be pretty good. They seem to be pretty well made. I haven't, uh, I haven't done much research, actually, but um, the people I know have them uh, are happy with them. I think they're they're not made by Coleman. They're made by Forest River or some other brand. But yeah, they have the Coleman brand on them. 
Uh, are you going to the RV show in Miami in January? No, nope. no, in January I'm going to be in Quartzsite, Arizona, most likely. Do your Christmas shopping through Ra Traveling Robert's Amazon page. Yes, definitely. That would help me out a lot, actually, if you go through my Amazon link, uh, which I can never remember which one it is, but uh, <laughs> because I am a, I am a horrible uh, advertiser of myself, of course. But uh, it is, it is. Amazon.com slash shop slash traveling Robert. And I don't think I'm supposed to uh, put it here on the on the chat because it goes against the terms and conditions, I think. But Amazon.com slash shop slash traveling Robert. Alessandro Ciao from Italy. Can you can't wait to see your traveling west again? You make me travel with you. Thank you for that. Well, thank you, Thomas. Thank you so much for being here. Your mic screwed up. Lots of hissing. It is. Well, maybe maybe the computer is picking up the. Maybe the computer is picking up the computer mic, huh? Yeah, it's picking up the wrong mic. Has it been like that all along? You would think that I would know how to do this, right? Audio. Built-in microphone, how about... That's odd. That is not picking up. You know what? I'm the one dealing here with technical difficulties. In the middle of, in the middle of, input, external microphone. Ooh. One, two. Well, now it is. Now it is picking up my external microphone. Thank you so much for that. <clears throat> Are there any good sub 2,000 pound trailer with a shower? Yes, I'm sure some of the... I don't know how much the casitas weight. Uh, I mean, they're, they're going to have a wet bath for uh, on that weight uh, category, but there are a couple of good ones. Um, try cleaning your cache in your tablet, Robert. You, uh, I have to do mine when I fly my Mavic, or it will do the same glitches on screen. The cache full your memory and makes you do that. Okay, I'm going to check that out. Juan Catalina, go with GoPro. It's better. Okay, I'm going to look into all, but I, the GoPro, usually the, the, you get what you pay for, and the GoPro is the best, the, the highest price, so it's probably the best one. So we'll see. Mike, good now. All right. The air conditioner. No, it yeah, sounds good here. Yeah, the, um, for some reason, it, it, the computer was picking up the, the, the built-in mic. And, you know, this program, it consumes a little bit of, of computer power, so, ooh, sorry. So it does, um, the fan does start uh, revving up after, after, we've been, um, after we've been talking for a while. Mac only weird for a minute. Okay, cool. Deborah Henderson, 2019 Geo Pro has solar already on the roof and other port to plug in on the side. Also has Murphy bed, which, is, which really works the space better that's pretty cool I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna check those out i'm not gonna replace mini tini at, at any time in fact i'm gonna put I, i'm thinking of putting an extra solar panel and i'm and i'm in, in talks with a couple of uh, a lithium battery companies that we might put lithium on mini tini but that's still uh, in the future we don't know uh, one Henry West, thank you so. I mean Harry, Harry West, thank you so much for that super chat. Do you plan on a trip to the Pikes Peak region? And I would love to. Uh, that that would be a great test of the new Colorado truck. So, so maybe when uh, when the when the snow starts to melt, I'll I'll get to that area. Um, Captain Ziggy. I watch your singing on YouTube, Munchies Cafe. Good job. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's my other YouTube channel that that I don't advertise as, as much as I should. But it's, uh, and, and I haven't recorded any video on that channel for like two years. That was the last time I ever sang at a public place like, uh, like Munchies. Although I might do a video from, uh, from wherever I'm, I'm singing on New Year's Eve. I'm going to try to do a video from there. Your mic is speaking. Yeah, now I see it's, it's, it's over modulating a little bit. 
Um, yeah, these live videos are, are hard. Maybe I, I, I could lower the, the volume on the on the input mic, actually. But uh, do check, test one two one two one two one two. How's that, how's that now? Please do not adjust your television. <clears throat> Boats, biggest sign right there. Hi, hey. RB Cruising. Hey there. <sighs> of course, RV Cruising is where I much docked uh, um, on my way north and then back on my way south on, the, on this past uh, road trip. Um, Gene, I love your RV song. Uh, yes, Macy, so much to see. Good evening, Robert, and greetings from the frozen tundra of central Pennsylvania. <laughs> frozen tundra. Aren't you exaggerating a little bit? I hope you enjoyed what time you got to spend here around the Hershey area. And I can't wait to go back uh, next year, in, in the early fall, probably. Uh, Macy, I'm gone, and you got to tell me what the hell is going on in the background. What? Pete Piliardi, hello Robert from Aurora, Colorado. Hello, Aurora, Colorado. And uh, I loved Colorado when I was there. I loved the mountains. And uh, there's no other mountains like the ones in Colorado. That's like... Uh, Pikes Peak is rough on brakes, so don't burn them out. Well, make sure to downshift and uh, take it slow, of course. Love RVs, thanks for sharing. Macy K. All right. Trailer truck and vacation that fixed it. Well, I'm glad as I, you know this this program doesn't have a very good a um, auto auto level for the mic, but um, yeah, at some point I have to I have to go through. My, I, I might use my good mic and go through my audio board. I did it once, but then for some reason you you guys could only hear it on the left side. So more research shall go into these. Uh, Kurt Weirich, uh, or Weirich, uh, enjoy your videos and do you plan a return trip to Quartzsite in 2019? Definitely. I, I, we talked about that earlier in the video. And um, I'm going to do the RTR a little bit, but I'm going to be in, in second half of January, mid-January, mid-January, mid I'm going to be in Quartzsite for sure. RV Cruising, Robert, your launch video turned out awesome, and and thank you so much, you guys, for for inviting me in there to to see that that uh, rocket launch. That was uh, that was amazing, and I, and I really I really enjoyed it, and I'm glad the video came out good. Yeah, Sandra Serra. Did you go into Titusville when you went to see the lounge? I grew up there. Well, actually, I got the VIP treatment uh, thanks to RV Cruising's daughter, and we got in right into the Cape, into Cape Canaveral, into Kennedy Space Center, and uh, we saw it from the Causeway, which was quite a privilege and uh, very, very nice. Uh, Juan Carolina, would you ever go to South and North Dakota and make your awesome video? Yes, definitely. And uh, my answer, my whenever you mention a place that I haven't been to, is usually yes. It's just a matter of that. The, there's so many uh, different uh, places, you know. That a lifetime is not enough to to see everything in the United States, let alone the world. And I do want, I do plan to travel overseas uh, again at some point. Johnny C, isn't the DJI Go app when you clean it out? When you clean out the cash, the cash. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into that. I did clean it out once because it, it was uh, giving me an error that I wouldn't record into the phone because that cache was full. So I'm going to look into that. Paul John, Free My RV, what a great song. Played all the time until others of you. <laughs> and um, hello from Ontario, Canada, from Dave G. Uh, I think you are going to love your new truck. Love uh, mine. And it tows like a dream. Yeah, it tows really well. And I already, I mean, you haven't seen it on video yet, but I already towed about almost 5,000 pounds, uh, I mean, uh, miles on it, and it did great. 
uh, and pretty good mileage if you if you keep it slow. By the way, hi Robert, do you have plans to post uh, the driving to the east movie? The, the, like the whole movie, it's already uploaded, but I haven't published it. I, w I was waiting for one of those weeks when I had nothing to publish. I'm, I'm gonna publish it now in December as like a Christmas special or, or something. I'll, I'll I'm, I'm gonna post it. It's being edited for a while actually. I just uh, I just never posted it. I, I might have to re-upload it because I want I might have to change the credits. I have m many more patrons now. I'll just upload that old file. It's it's been on on um, actually. If you look it up, if you have Amazon Prime, if you look it up on Amazon Prime, it's been on Amazon Prime for a while now. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, release it maybe next week, maybe the week after. Robert, if you do come back to New England, maybe a meetup would be possible. Could be possible. Someplace central. Patty and I would definitely attend. Definitely, Randy and. Um, and I will look uh, into that next year, September, October, when I go um, when I go back uh, to Pennsylvania, uh, for sure. Actually, I would like to make it all the way to Northwest Pennsylvania, to Erie, Pennsylvania, by like by right by Lake Erie. Thank you so much for the CD. Greetings from Switzerland. Well, I'm glad you you uh, that CD made it to Switzerland. Sometimes I get nervous with this uh, when I ship internationally because. I don't know if you're gonna get it, but I'm glad you like it, and then I'm glad it made it made it to Switzerland. And someday I would love to travel in Switzerland. I've I've seen uh, beautiful pictures and videos of the mountains, and uh, seems to be like like a beautiful country. And uh, Dave Miller, the rubber, it looked like the rocker fell over after landing. D did I see what I thought? I saw the yeah, I did fall over. And apparently it wasn't as perfect landing as it looked uh, to the to the untrained to our untrained eyes, but it was still super cool. Yeah, apparently the the, the rocket is not supposed to be free falling like that, tumbling and turning uh, like like it did. Um, but yeah, it did fall over, but this, it's still great technology. I mean, it's like Star Trek if you think about it. Uh, Big Duke X, Robert, to do the national parks in California. They have nine total. The most stay any state in the U.S. Definitely, as, as, at least Yosemite, I want to visit. But of course, all the other ones. B Zingner, your voice is great, better than Nico and Biela. Oh, thank you so much. And uh, drone guy photography, love your videos. I still think you need a TV show on the Travel Channel. Uh, well, but by the time they, they get to me, it might be too late for them because more and more people are watching YouTube rather than than regular TV. So, so who knows? We might get bigger than the Travel Channel here eventually. Uh, Michael C. Hi, Robert. I remember seeing a shuttle launch when I when it was in Cocoa Beach many years ago. Yeah, the shuttle launches were great too. I saw one um, back in 2011. STS-135, the last ever, and that, that was uh, that was quite impressive. Even from Titusville, I saw it from Titusville, which is a couple of miles away, but still. Um, uh, Lucky Dog Productions, I've been doing parks uh, videos, and can't believe how many parks local I haven't seen. Yeah, there's so much stuff. Armando Cabrera, uh, Robert, a pleasure being here on the chat. Enjoyed the... Uh, Enjoy the time. See you on the road. Need to go. All right, Armando. Amaranto. Armando. Amaranto Cabrera, thank you so much for being here, man. And hope to see you on the road sometime, for sure. If, if you ever see me driving down uh, to the Keys, uh, you know, stop and say hello. Um, the ham conversion in Quartzite is called Quartz Fest. I've heard about that. And even though I haven't gotten my license yet, I don't know if, if it's something that I, that I, could, uh, that I could attend. I'm going to look into that. Joe Croto, New England meetup, definitely. We can do it maybe uh, in somewhere in the middle, like Pittsburgh. I don't know. Ex I don't. I, I, right now in my head, I don't know exactly the geography of of uh, New England, but I'm thinking of, of uh, I'm thinking Pennsylvania. New England meetup. New England meetup. Yes, but New England is so so big, right? So maybe we should do it one in New Hampshire, one in Maine. And um, 
and um, I, I I really enjoyed Boston, Massachusetts. What a great city! And um, Fred Mac McIver, did I miss you? Say you were not coming back to New England. Oh, yes, I am coming back to New England uh, in the fall, in the September, October. I don't know around that time. Kind of seen for a meetup too. Thank you for your great videos. Yeah, but that's almost a year away, so, um, yeah. You still owe us an All About Robert video. Uh, yes, and I'm, I'm going to make that one. You know, I, I keep forgetting. I have to make that video before the end of the year. Hi, Robert, from a fellow Miami-Dade neighbor, Joe Navarro. Hello, Joe. Hello, neighbor. Nissan Frontier Lover from Lakeland, Florida. And uh, Joe's uh, brother lives in Lakeland, and that's just east of Tampa. I was there not long ago. Uh, B. Zigner, I find Robert videos, some of the entertaining, educational, informative on YouTube. I enjoy it very much, and I know I'm spreading the word. Hey, spread the word, man. The, the more people that watch, the, the better, and the more videos I can make. Hamvention is cool. They have more than just ham gear. Even high-end audio, at least up here in Zinia, Ohio. Um, I'm going to check it out. Matthew Fortier. I re I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed that, that rocket launch video. Of course, nothing beats being there because the camera does not capture the, the, the actual the, the, the brightness of that flame coming out of the rocket. Um, are you coming to North Dakota at some point? Yes, and for hopefully next year. Did somebody say Erie, Northwest Pennsylvania? I sure did. Hey, Robert, what are your thoughts on van life? Um, I might be a, 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 a van person at some point in the future, but I, I, I don't want... Uh, if I get a van, I want a proper Class B. You know, with with the with the largest uh, tanks possible and all that. You know, like RV stuff. I don't, I don't, I, I really. It's it's not me. I know it works for a lot of people, and uh, as long as as it works for them, it's fine. But you know, I follow Adventure Van Man. I follow um, Lewis uh, Rolling Earth Ship, and there's a bunch of others and uh, too many names uh, to um, to mention here now. Caravan Caroline, etc. Uh, the, the bathroom situation is the only part of van life that I'm not quite convinced. I don't mind taking a shower at a at a gym, you know that's fine. But uh, the you know, let's just say it: pooping in a bucket is not for me. Let's just uh, put it that way. <laughs> uh, other than that, it's 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 all good, you know. Radus Stefurek, haven't seen you here in a while, right? Erie is a fantastic place. We could not leave. Uh, we love the Lake Erie. Uh, it was gorgeous and not crowded at all. Did you know the Great Lakes have tides? Well, it's such such a large mass of water. I, I would imagine they do, yeah. Especially moon tides, like like they call the moon tides. Uh, ever plan on going to the UP of Michigan, of course, and uh, Mystique or Picture Rock area? I've heard so many good things about the UP and the other P, uh, you know, whatever you guys do it, I, I, I forget. Uh, but the whole, the whole state of Michigan, I, I want to visit. And of course, Mackinac Island, although they will not let me uh, take my RV there. Uh, water spouts to Minnesota. North Dakota is in our bucket list, definitely. I'd, I'd love to see your journey to the North Cape in Norway. I guess it was kind of an expensive trip. Uh, it was expensive, even though the RV was actually a, um, a loaner from my friend Pitri. Uh, it, it's an expensive country. Uh, every every the, every meal and the, and the fuel and everything else. Yeah, every, it, it, you know, it's it's expensive. But it's a once in a lifetime thing that I, will, I hope to repeat it again, again one day and actually have more time. I would love to spend two or th at least two days, at least wait until the weather was good at the North Cape. 
and I hear that if you wait, usually the weather improves. And not only North Cape, but Lofoten as well. No, Joe Navarro, yeah, the North Cape was great. Uh, Manny Ka comes, comes hung. Uh, I, I, I said to leave, but I'll catch you again soon. Okay, blessings, blessings, Manny. And Patty White, Robert, I love your traveling channel. You have a wonderful personality. How did you get to be to, to so popular? I have no idea. I just, <laughs> it just, uh, it just happened. You know, it's, it's, it's something that I love to do. And I, and I, and I, uh, I guess enjoyed so much doing it and, and and you guys liked it. That's basically and I I'm glad I'm I'm glad you did. Pennsylvania the Keystone State and I'm glad you agree with me Joe. Uh, Johnny C you have to change that poster behind you. Yeah, I know. I know I have to I have to spend some money on the uh, rebranding and I have to get me a new shirt too. And, you know, I'm selling the new shirts, but I haven't gotten myself one of the new shirts. Go figure. Uh, what time is it? It's 7.21 p.m. here, 1921, in the, in the east coast of the United States, uh, for those of you watching internationally. So I think I'm going to start wrapping this up. And uh, do I have any beer left? No, that's my cue. IPA is gone. So... Um, Patty White, I'm a newbie to your channel. Have to watch your European adventure. Well, welcome, welcome to the channel, and welcome to our Friday night live. Every, every, almost every Friday we do this, and, uh, and welcome. Amazing staff man, greetings from Kendall, long time listener, first time caller. All right, well, thank you for being here, always. Uh, Juan Catalina, bye, Robert. Take care. God bless you and your wife. Love you. Thank you so much. Juan and Judge Holden, how are you liking the new truck? New truck is good. I mean, it's still getting it. It takes a little getting used to it, but after five thousand miles on the road, I think I got the hang of it. Thank you, Joe. Colombia, twenty-seven, twenty-seven. Oh, oh, hola, Robertico. Hola, Colombia. Radu Stefurak. Stefu uh, Why did you have to remove your road nomad banner banner on your mini tini? And nobody seemed to like the Road Nomad um, um, pseudonym. Nobody seemed to remember it, like it didn't roll off the tongue. At the, when I, when, at the beginning, I thought it was a great idea, but uh, that's, basically, uh, that's basically it. And two, about two and a half years ago, I decided to rebrand. I just called myself Traveling Robert, and, uh, and that's what I did. What keeps you tied to Florida? Isn't it expensive? You could uh, homestead a lot cheaper places. I agree, but my mom lives here. And my family lives here. So um, I, I'm not ready to make the move yet to, to the hills of northern Georgia. But one of these days. I mean, it's a, it's a nice place to live in a way. Not to work, but uh, not to commute. You have to time. You have to if you go if you ever go out of the house, you have to time it with the traffic, and it's it's a, it's, it's it's tricky. But um, anyways, uh, Sue Sprank, great chat, Robert. See you on the road. See you too. I hope to see you and and Bob uh, soon again. And have you traveled to Delaware yet? Only driving through, unfortunately. And Joe, I know you love your Colorado. Lucky dog, always great chat. Thank you so much, Bob. And uh, Paul Yarbrough, hey buddy, love the show. Trailer trucking, good night from North, North, Northwest Pennsylvania. Is that Erie, Pennsylvania, where you are? Hmm. Dave Miller, thank you so much for that super chat. Uh, Toma Diaz Bolas, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, not too many super chats, but that's, that's all good. I mean, I'm... Uh, 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 your videos are awesome, especially because you give great your their experience, and that's what I try to do. And uh, and one of these days, I'm gonna actually make a video of, of like a behind the scenes of how I make the videos, uh, because I try my best to 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 make to make it like uh, like a present tense, you know. Uh, that that's the idea, you know, to to make it, 
to, to, to make it as, as present as possible for you guys. Uh, Mario Cooney. Well, yeah, she's usually behind the camera. I live in Florida. Well, good. It's it's the best time of the year to be in Florida. Uh, Gary Hodges. Hello, Robert from Wausau, Michigan. More breweries in Michigan than any other state. Uh, yeah, I gotta make it there. What's your favorite parts on a road trip? Oh, man. Uh, Sam Max. Uh, it's, it's, sometimes it is the journey and not the destination. All right, I'm out of here. Let me see if this guitar is still in tune because I haven't played it in over a month. It's amazing. This guitar never goes out of tune. And I've had it for almost 30 years. Paul Yardborough, I was actually traveling behind you when you passed through the panhandle. Cool. You do a great job with the videos. Keep up the good work. RV Cruisin. Great chat, Robert. Have a great evening. You too, sir. Have a great evening and uh, I'll, I'll see you soon. Randy, thank you, Robert. Have a good evening and I'm riding. Riding in my RV Wherever I want to be Cause I'm free in my RV Thank you Mario Cooney for that super chat Oh thank you Thank you for super chat Thank you for all of that For being here in RV chat Oh, driving, driving my Chevrolet across the USA, cause I'm free, and if I go to Canada, I will say, hey, I'm riding, riding in my RV, wherever I want to be, cause I'm free. El Big Rican is here. <laughs> In my RV. Good night, everybody. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Have a great uh, rest of the week. And I'll see you next Friday or maybe on the road.